Now, my dear students, today uh, this video which I am going to make uh, for the benefit of students, just me, me mass moment of inertia के बारे में कुछ बात करने जा रहा हूँ, कुछ standard objects के mass moment of inertia क्या होती हैं? Just me पहला object जो मैं consider कर रहा हूँ, that is a rod, जिसका moment of inertia मैं निकालना है about an axis passing through its center and perpendicular to the rod. The axis is passing through the center and perpendicular to its rod. So what we are going to take, it is a continuous mass system. So as we are going to see in the diagram, at a x distance from the center, my dear, we have taken a very small differential element. Let me calculate the mass of this differential element. So the mass of this differential element, dm, will be equal to total mass of the rod is m, and the length is l. So mass per unit length is m upon l, and the element mass is is small. dx if you multiply so that is the because that is the length of the element this is the total mass of this differential element now one point is very very clear my dear <clears throat> the moment of inertia about an axis of this differential element di will be equal to dm multiplied by x square so this is m upon l into dx multiplied by x square so if you integrate this expression from minus l by 2 to plus l by 2 the complete rod is going to be covered so i will be equal to integration of this dm So integration of m upon l into x square into dx, that is minus l by two to plus l by two. So this i will come out to be m upon l will come outside, and this integration will become x cube by three. The limit will be l by two, and here is the lower limit minus l by two. So which is m upon l. So that is three uh, will come outside. So this if you put a element, this is l cube by eight minus of minus l cube by eight. So if we are going to calculate this, this is m upon three l. So this is two l cube upon eight. So which is basically the m l square upon twelve. So this i moment of inertia of this rod about an axis passing through its center and perpendicular to this rod comes out to be m l square by twelve. Now with respect to any other axis, if we want to calculate, then we will calculate. Uh, <coughs> By applying the theorem that I will discuss later, parallel axis theorem and perpendicular axis theorem. But this is the standard moment of inertia of this rod passing through the center. Axis is passing through the center and perpendicular to this rod. Now, if I am going to move one step more forward and we are going to calculate the moment of inertia of a ring. Ring is again a continuous mass system. So just to calculate the moment of inertia of a ring, we have taken a very small element in this ring at a theta to d theta, whose length of the element is r d theta. So first we are going to calculate the mass of this differential element, dm. Total mass of the ring is m divided by if you if you are going to divide by the length two pi r, it is the mass per unit length multiplied by the length of this element r d theta, which is the differential mass of this ring. So this will be equal to m upon two pi into d theta. Now this differential element as is at a distance of capital R because ring complete material is at the periphery. So this moment of inertia d i will be equal to d m into capital R square, which is m upon two pi. Multiplied by capital R square into d theta. Now, if you integrate from theta going zero to theta going two pi, the complete elements are going to be covered, and the ring is going to be uh, result is there. So the i will be equal to integration of di from zero to two pi. So this is m upon two pi into r square d theta. Theta going from zero to two pi. So this is m r square upon two pi is constants coming outside. 0 to 2 pi into d theta, which is coming out to be equal to m r square upon 2 pi into 2 pi. This 2 pi is cancelled out, so i the result of um, moment of inertia of a ring is coming out to be m r square. But mind it, this is the moment of inertia about an axis which is passing through the center of the ring and perpendicular to the plane of the ring, which is something very very important. The axis is very important. Okay, now we will be moving one step more forward, and we are going to see the moment of inertia of a disc. no this is again a continuous mass system but since the moment of inertia of a ring is very very clear to us so we can take a very small differential element in the form of ring because ring ring moment of inertia we can use here that we know now so we are going to take a, at a small r distance in the disc to the dr thickness we are considering a ring so complete disc mass is m so what is the differential element of this ring mass so dm will be equal to complete mass of the disc is m divided by the Area of the disc is pi r square. This is the mass per unit area, and the ring area will, will be equal to two pi r is the length, and the thickness is dr. So if we are going to see this, dm is coming out to be this pi and pi will be cancelled out. Two m upon r is square into small r dr. And my dear students, since ring moment of inertia is very very clear to us, so the differential 
moment of inertia of this differential element which is in the form of ring gear it is dm into small r square so it is 2m upon capital r square into r cube dm now if we are going to integrate this expression from r going from 0 to capital r the complete disk is going to be covered so the moment of inertia of a disk about an axis passing through its center and perpendicular to the plane is integration of this di from 0 to capital r so this is 2m upon r square is constant coming outside this is r cube into dr r going from 0 to capital r so this is 2m upon r square into r power 4 upon 4 which is coming out to be m r square upon 2 so this is the disk moment of inertia but mind it again i am going to say the axis is very important about an axis passing through its center and perpendicular to the plane of the disk so the three objects the rod ring and the disk moment of inertia we have we have seen these are the standard moment of inertia now later we will discuss some other objects as well